Bay. The saga of the great Hudson's Bay Fur Company. And of the brave men who traveled the untrekked wilderness from Labrador to California, from Minnesota to Alaska. Starring Barry Nelson as Jonathan Banner, Hudson's Bay Man. With George Tobias as Pierre Falcone. Immigrants were coming to Canada from all the countries of Europe. They came to the frontier with their hopes and their dreams, and their fears and their legends. Drawn by a new hope, a new dream, making their way through hostile wilderness to a farm colony in the West, where a man could be free and work his own land instead of that of the great landowners. Of getting yourself a horse free, are you, stranger? Uh, guten Tag, mein Herr. My name is Hans Huber. Ich bin aus Bayern. Whatever kind of lingo that is, I don't get it. Don't you speak English? English, uh, no English. Fed. No fared. That's a horse. And it don't belong to you, it belongs to me. Ich möchte es kaufen. Guess you mean you want to buy it. Well, if you got enough of these, maybe we can make a deal. Funny looking. But they're gold, all right. We feel for that gewehr. You want that too? Always glad to help out a sod buster. I'll give you a hand to hitch up your horse. Midsummer, 1820. Pierre Falcone and I were in the Upper Peninsula region inspecting some of the smaller Hudson's Bay Company trading outposts. You 
You know, Monsieur, there is only one man in these parts that has the finest cider, and that is Tom Parker. Johnny. Look. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, dead all right. Must have got it from the back of the head. Could have been an Indian war club. There's no trouble with Indians here, and he is not scalped. Still, it might have been some wandering Indian who was waiting to rob him. I want to take a look inside. Look around, see if you can find this horse. Johnny, come here. Come here, Johnny. His horse is gone. But look, wagon tracks. Well, that sort of rules out the Indians, doesn't it? But why would anybody with a wagon want to steal a horse? He must have had one of his own to start with. But there's only tracks of one horse. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Was the cabin robbed? No, oh, no, that's all right. I... But I couldn't find Parker's gun. Yeah. Well, somebody must have wanted an horse for his wagon and the... And the gun, so he came up behind Parker, Parker and he hit him on the head with a, maybe something like a, a pistol butt or something like that, and he took what he wanted. That's clear. Yeah, it's clear. There's just one thing wrong with it. How'd the wagon get here in the first place? Oh, yes. It's not so clear. Well, the wagon track should be easy to follow. Oh, sure. We start now? No, no, we don't start. I start. You take Tom back to the fort. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I will take him. Funny, you know, you see so much of death and violence around here, you think you'd get used to it, but it just gets more senseless and more brutal. You never get used to it. Come on, I'll give you a hand. Tom dead. We don't know how it happened or who did it. Johnny's on the trail, though. I must report to uh, Factor Lyman. Take care, Tom. We'll take care of Tom. I will take care of whoever killed him, too. Is he Deutsch? Deutsch? G German? Huh? Are you, you, you German? Yeah, Deutsch. Uh, Sie verstehen Deutsch. Don't you speak any English at all? English? Uh, no English. That's going to be fine. Plow, huh? You headed for the new farm colony at Peak River? Yeah. Yeah, Peak River. Tom Parker's gun. And his horse. Now, whether you speak English or not, maybe you'll understand this. My name is Banner. It ain't me. Jonathan Banner. Oh, Jonathan Banner. Hans Huber. Hans Huber. All right. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get through to you on this, but, uh, well... You're under arrest on suspicion of the murder of Tom Parker. 
Ich verstehe sie nicht. Hmm. Well, you don't look like a man with a guilty conscience, but that might be because you just you just don't understand. But understand or not, you're coming with me. This way now. Going this way. No, no, in a big river is this direction. I'm afraid you're going to have to forget about Peak River. Let's just hope we can find somebody who can speak German and that, that you've got a good story. Done a quick job, Johnny, bringing in the murderer. Wait a minute. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? What do you mean? It's Tom's horse, ain't it? And his gun. Pierre, tell me the story. Did you get a confession out of him? No, the only thing I got out of him is he's headed toward the Peak River farm colony. He's German. He doesn't speak any English. He speaks English, all right. Come on, Ann. I'll give you a hand. Herr Banner, was will der Herr von mir? Was wollen alle die Leute hier? Maybe you'll think of some English with a little persuasion. You killed Tom Parker, didn't you? That's enough of that. Looks like you're sticking up for him, Banner. Even with Tom's horse and gun, you still want to protect him. Yeah, I'm going to keep on protecting him until he's had a fair trial and he's proven guilty. Now, where can we lock him up? The storeroom's the safest place. Yeah, you better get him over there. Herr Banner, helfen Sie mir doch. Erklären Sie, ich weiß doch nicht, was hier los ist. Können Sie mir denn nicht helfen? Was wollen Sie denn? Wo führen Sie mich denn hin? Yeah. Was wollen Sie denn von mir? All right, anybody who lays a hand on him until he's had a fair trial is going to have a fight on his hands. Let's go inside, Lyman. You understand English, don't you? Yeah, we ought to take him to York House. They, they probably have an interpreter there. Now, what do we need an interpreter for? What do we... Any man's got a right to know what he's accused of and to tell his side of the story. I'm cold. How about you? Ah, oh, there's only one side here, Johnny. He had Tom's horse and gun. How could he have those if he hadn't killed Tom? Well, I don't know. Certainly looks as if he's guilty, but he's got a right to a fair trial, and he can't get that without an interpreter. Well, I can't let you take him to York House, no matter what. Why not? Now look at the way the men feel. Tom was a friend to everybody in the district. Now, I've got magistrate's powers. If I don't exercise them, I'm going to have trouble here that I can't handle. You're willing to let a man hang just because it might cause some trouble? Ah, uh, Johnny. You're paying too much attention to a technicality. Technicalities? I don't know about technicalities. All I know is about a man's life. Well, who else could have done it? What was that hammering, Pierre? They are building a coffin. Well, that's not necessary. We've got one here for an emergency. Oh, they are not building it for Tom Parker. They are building it for Hans Huber. With feeling as high as it is, do you think you can stop them? Do you think the men will let you take him to York House and keep him hanging around for months, maybe, for a trial, when we can hold one here right away? You realize this man doesn't even know what he's accused of? I have an idea for that. Uh, maybe if we showed Parker to him, he would understand. Yeah. Uh, where's Parker now? They have him in the common room while they are digging a grave. All right. You go and you get hands and bring him over there. Well, I've got no objections as long as it satisfies you. It won't, but I wouldn't want to disturb your sweet sense of charity. It might cause trouble and we wouldn't want to do that, do we? <laughs> You do this. 
Nein. Nein, das habe ich nicht getan. Bitte glauben Sie mir. Well, I only know one word of German, nein. That means no. That's no evidence, Johnny. You don't expect them to admit it right off, do you? Better take him back to the storeroom. All right, take him back. Ich erschieße den ersten Mann, der mir folgt. Hands, we're not gonna hurt you. Kommen Sie mir nicht zu nahe. Ich erschieße Sie. Hands, we're not gonna hurt you. You understand? We're not gonna hurt you. Ich bin unschuldig! Ich bin unschuldig! What do you think of your good friend now, Banner? All right, take your hand off. Take him off. All right, you better take him back. I know what you're trying to do, Johnny. It looks like you're wasting your time. Can you think of a better way of wasting it? We've heard all the evidence, but I listened to final statements. What final statements? Banner caught him red-handed, didn't he? Well, we all seen the way he tried to shoot his way out instead of standing trial like an honest man. Mr. Factor and gentlemen, I know the evidence weighs heavily against the prisoner. I just want to point out one thing to you. If you find him guilty, there's just one possible sentence. Death. And if you carry through that sentence without giving this man a chance to defend himself through an interpreter, the Hudson's Bay Company will take action against all of you. Now, boys, I know Governor Hogan, and believe me, he'll never let you get away with it. There's nobody within a thousand miles that can speak German. Mr. Factor, I speak German. Who are you? Christopher Brunt, traveling in Canada. Does it suit you if he acts as interpreter? Yeah, whoever does, as long as he gets a chance to speak his piece. All right, Mr. Brunt. You can talk to the prisoner. Ich spreche Deutsch. Ich werde Ihnen helfen. Gott sei Dank. Ich bin unschuldig. Ich habe das Gewehr an das Pferd gekauft. Helfen Sie mir doch bitte. It was not an intentional murder, gentlemen. He says he paid for the horse and gun. Parker took the money, but refused to go through with the bargain. They fought, and he killed Parker. I tell you, there's only one verdict. Yeah. yeah. It still troubles you, Johnny? Something about that brunt. And something about the way Hans looked when the crowd yelled for his blood. You think maybe Brunt gave the wrong translation? Well, Hans certainly didn't look like a man who would just confess to a murder, unintentional or otherwise. Well, that's the way I feel, Johnny. But the German will die at sunup. I've got to think of something. I, I've got to find some way to get through to him. But how? I don't want to make you feel bad, Johnny, but uh, you're not a very good artist. Hmm? Oh, well, I need a larger canvas. Yeah. yeah, maybe you're right. But I ought to be able to draw a horse and a gun. Now, look, I want you to keep an eye on Brunt. Let me know if he tries to leave the fort. I'm going to see Hans. And I will get you a larger canvas. Hans. 
20. Mm -hmm. ja. Parker, auf Wiedersehen hat mich sehr gefreut. Hans, mm. auf Wiedersehen. So you, you paid him 20 of these gold coins and uh, he waved goodbye. You got in the wagon and drove off and waved goodbye back at him. How's it going, gentlemen? I don't know. I don't know. Hans here says that Parker gave him 25 of these or 20 of these and then he got in the wagon and waved goodbye to him. Like this? Well, this looks like the same gold coin with which Brandt is gambling with in the common room. You sure? Sure. You say he's in the common room now? We? Oui. Well, what are we waiting for? That's it. Seems like it's not your night, Mr. Brown. It's still a very young night, Mr. Andrews. You wish to roll again? Seven. In many years, in many countries, I have learned that luck changes. Quite an interesting coin you got there, Mr. Brown. Minted in Bavaria. Mind if I take a look at it? Well, it's good money, Banner. It's worth about the same as an English guinea. We, we weighed it. Is that right? Well, just goes to show that our friend Tom Parker wasn't all the man we thought he was. What's the money got to do with Tom Parker? He cheated Hans Hubert. He took 20 of these for a horse and a gun. Twice as much as they're worth. You're out of your mind, Banner. Tom Parker never took anything from Hubert. You didn't find any money on him when you found him, did you? That's true. But he might have had it on him before he was killed. Quite a coincidence, Mr. Brunt, that you and Hans should have the same foreign coin, huh? Nothing remarkable. He's Bavarian. I've traveled in Bavaria. Well, nothing remarkable about Hans having the money. Probably saved it all his life and brought it with him when he came to Canada. But a man like you... How long has it been since you've been in Bavaria, Mr. Brunt? That is something that does not concern you. It might. How long has it been? You have no authority to question me. You're wrong. I've got the authority. And I'm prepared to charge you with the murder of Tom Parker if you've got 20 of these on you. Ridiculous. Oh, well, then you, you won't mind telling us how many you've got or letting us search you. What are you getting at, Banner? It was a long time between Hans leaving Parker and our finding him. Somebody could have murdered and robbed Parker before we got there. I, uh, just had a talk with Hans. Talk? But you don't speak German. No, I don't, I don't, but I, I draw a little. Hans and I are pretty good sign language. How about it, Brunt? I repeat that the charge is ridiculous. But if you insist, I will show you. Now, give me my money. Or shall we say the German's money? All of it. Oh, just got involved in a little technicality. No trouble, thank you. No trouble. Peak River. Yeah, Hans. Huh? Hans geht nach dem Peak River. Peak River. Nine. Hans, your cows, you, Hans, your cows, testify against Brunt, eh? Then, Hans, back Peak River, huh? Learn plenty English after. English? Yeah? Uh, no English. <laughs> 
Let me see, Johnny. Hmm. You know, that's a very good idea, Johnny. He learned to speak English and you learned to draw. Mm -hmm. 